Wayne Gretzky's rookie card is one of the most sought after sports cards in the hobby. Hockey's greatest player and one of the most decorated athletes of all time is card number 18 in the 1979-1980 Tops and OPG sets. It's also one of the most valuable sports cards of all time. In May 2021, a PSA 10 copy sold for $3.75 million in a private auction. Just holding a rookie card of the great one in your hands feels like a life-changing moment for any collector. Unless, of course, it's fake. The 1979 Gretzky, in addition to being the most sought after, is also one of the most faked sports cards on the market. Counterfeit copies of this card are a big problem. So how do you know if the Gretzky you're holding is the real thing or a fake? Here's six things to look for. The first place your eyes should go when looking at an OPG Wayne Gretzky rookie is his left shoulder. Genuine copies of the card will show a small yellow mark on his left shoulder. Most fakes do not have this mark, making it by far the quickest and easiest way to tell if the card is fake. Bear in mind, this only works with the OPG rookie, not the Topps rookie. So if you're looking at the Topps Gretzky, you'll need to check some other things first. The next thing you should look at is the color of the card. The 79 set has a very recognizable blue border, but the shade of blue matters. A fake Gretzky will have a shade of blue that's just a little too bold or a little too sharp to the naked eye. Genuine cards from the 79 set are a little lighter in shade of blue than the fake ones. The best way to tell is to take a common from the 79 set and compare them next to each other. It helps if it's another Oilers player like this Bob Kelly, so you can have the white team name border as well. When you compare them next to each other, you see how the Gretzky here is just a touch darker than the Kelly, that's how you know. Okay, now the edges. This is important because of how OPG cards were cut. While Topps cards were cut with a blade, OPG cards were cut with a wire. A wire cut leaves cards with some rough edges, which is also why it's hard to find them in high grades. This card is an OPG, or at least it says it is, so the edges should not be this clean. If you have an OPG Gretzky with edges that look this sharp, don't even bother. It's definitely a fake. Topps cards are a little tougher to tell being blade cut, but even then, if the edges are this sharp, it's just too good to be true. Let's move to the picture of Gretzky in the center of the card. What we're looking at is the focus of the picture. Action photo shots from the 79 set were actually quite good for the era, but they weren't this crisp. You can see some real definition in Gretzky's face and his neck and even some of the divots in his helmet. It's just too sharp of an image for a real Gretzky, which looks like this. A little blurrier, a little more out of focus. Now you might not have a real Gretzky on hand to compare with, so again, grab a common from the 79 set and look at other examples of the photography, like this Lee Fogelin. See how it's a little less focused? There's less definition in his face than there is in Gretzky's, even though he's much closer to the camera. Picture focus is a little more of an advanced thing to notice, but it can be a dead giveaway. Okay, this one's pretty simple. In this example, you can tell right away this is a fake. The back of this Gretzky is just wrong. It's way too white. Tops and OPG card backs are a tan, brownish color. This one isn't even close. Again, they won't always be this obvious, Take your common card you've been looking at and compare the color of the card back just to be sure. If it's not a tan or light brown color, you've got a fake. The last thing you should check is the texture and feel of the card in your hand. What does the weight of the card feel like? Rub your fingers across the surface. Does your finger slip over the surface? Does it rub against the texture of the paper? What does it feel like? A genuine card is gonna have a little texture to it. When you rub against it with your finger, it's gonna feel just a little rough. A fake card is gonna be a little easier to rub, almost like it's slick or glossy. This last step is one that takes a lot of practice and experience. Again, the best way to compare is to grab a stack of 79 commons, pick them up one by one, rub the surface to see what it feels like, and then do the same to the Gretzky. So there you go, six things to look for when determining if the raw Gretzky you have is genuine or not. The yellow mark, the color shade, the edges being too clean, picture focus, the color of the card back, and the texture of the card. If your card passes all six of those tests, congratulations, you're likely holding one of the holy grails of the sports card world. Yeah.